What's up, everyone? Welcome to the channel. I have a lot to go over here in this video. I just tried going live, if you guys saw, and um, I'm not able to get my computer to share the screen for some reason. I'm not able to figure it out. So I will have to do this presentation as always, as I always do with a video. Although I would like to go live and actually have some conversations about the information that I'm about ready to share. So let me just start by saying that we have to be able to recognize patterns. The, the, the manipulation that's happening in this world from the elites, from the secret societies, the Society of Jesus, the Freemasons, whatever you want to group, you want to blame it on. They, they want us to see this pattern. And I'm about ready to point out to you guys the pattern that I've been seeing with one number at the center point of this, this whole last year and what I believe is the rest of the upcoming year. So let's jump right into it. Let me start this, um, this uh, presentation by saying that I wrote up a whole document and I posted the link in my uh, community section of YouTube. Maybe many of you have already read through this. But I'm going to go over it in some depth and I'm going to explain to you, at least with words, how I came to these conclusions. And also there's a lot more to be added to this, but this is just kind of the, the base information that I wanted to get out. So anyways, guys, we all know that earlier this year, I was talking about the queen passing away. And a lot of other decoders were also talking about it. Zach Hubbard at Gematria Effect News, he was the one originally that got me onto it. But when I created my channel, I actually created my channel on the anniversary of the queen becoming queen. And that is February 6th. So it's interesting that I ended up, my, my main topic on my YouTube channel, I started on the very day that she became queen. And she ended up becoming the main topic of my channel for most of the year. Also, guys... I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but I have posted before. If you look at these top two um, phrases, Queen Elizabeth II and decoding with Cody are direct matches in all four base ciphers. So again, um, it's just, th there's organic stuff, you know, you guys. That I mean, the fact that I started my channel on the Queen's birthday or her day, the day she became Queen and my name that I came up with directly matches her in all four ciphers and then she ends up becoming the main topic of my channel it's just it's just mind-boggling and there's even more connections but i'm not going to get all into that here i'm just pointing out to you guys the organic side that continually shows up so the first thing i want <clears throat> to talk about here is the 57 in queen elizabeth you know because this is really the reason and what got me on to this 57. You know, and the Chaldean cipher has been my go-to cipher when it comes to really putting pieces together. And I love the base four ciphers too. They're, they're all important. I'm not going to say there's any one cipher that's more important, but these are my main five ciphers I use. And the Chaldean cipher, Queen Elizabeth II equals 57. So with that out of the way, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an overview of how Queen Elizabeth led me to this finding and how it led me to the number 57. So uh, you guys can go through and read all this. I don't want to read this all out here, but I, I just want you guys to have this document so you guys can read through my information. That way, if you're confused, you can go over it and read more. But anyways, guys, let's get into why the 57 is important and exactly why it's been so prominent this year since last year essentially into 2022 and i believe into 2023 we're going to see this number that could lead us into a, a very w interesting time in november which is where i'm going to talk about later in this video so anyways you had queen elizabeth ii equaling 57 and i'm going to show you exactly how i discovered this with her in a minute but i first want to get to why the 57 is important. So the first thing to take into consideration here, guys, is that this year, the Jewish New Year, which is Rosh Hashanah, it happened on the 26th of September, which was the date 
the full day that it was um, – it was the only day of the three days because it went from the 25th to the 27th. But the only day that was a full day of Rosh Hashanah was the day in the middle, which is the 26th. And this is a very important why they chose to have Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year, on this day, this year. And I'm going to show you how it ties to the 57, how it ties to the Queen. But anyways, guys, a lot of you guys already know that the 50-year jubilee started at the end of Rosh Hashanah this year. So basically, we entered the 50th year on the Jewish calendar because normally you have seven cycles of seven years. A seven-year cycle... It's called a Shemitah. The seventh year is the Shemitah year, which is the last year of the seven seven uh, year cycle. And you have seven years, seven cycles of seven years, which is 49 years. And on the 50th year, you have Jubilee. And that's what we just started. So this is a huge year. The queen dies only a few weeks before Rosh Hashanah and in, in September. And just like I said earlier the year, guys, after she didn't die in May, I said it was possible that she could die in June or July, but I was more leaning towards September. And then I released other things later in like August that September, I, I had seen that WWE had released a, an event called Clash at the Castle, which was happening in Wales. You know, and I, I talked about this in other videos, but it was so clear that she was going to die in September once I saw that. And again, guys, I didn't predict the right date exactly, but I did predict the right month. And I, I just knew September was going to be the month because this is this was the year that that they have the Jewish New Year. This is the year that 9-11 or the month that 9-11 happened in. This September month is the ninth month. It's a huge month. So anyways, with that out of the way, I want to get to the 57. So first of all, guys, you can see that in Gematria, Rosh Hashanah equals 57. Okay, so there's your first thing, right? So Rosh Hashanah equals 57. So in this year, Rosh Hashanah happened on 269, which is September 26th. And what's interesting about the number 269 is that's the 57th prime. So Rosh Hashanah equals 57. And this year, Rosh Hashanah fell on the date 269, which is the 57th prime. But not only that, guys, this year, Rosh Hashanah, Here's the date, guys, 926, 269, was also the 269 day of the year. So there's, and this is a unique thing, guys, because I've never seen any other date on the calendar yet where the date of the year that it is, which is the 269th day of the year, can be written the same as the date itself, 269. And again, guys, it's the 57th prime number. And remember, guys, the queen died at 96 years old, and this day was the day leaving 96. So again, you have the 269 and the 96. Remember, Bitcoin hit a high of 69,000. The 69s and the 96s are so big, they represent as above, so below, because the 6 and the 9 represent that, right? The yin yang, the as above, so below, right? Another thing about this date is not only does Rosh Hashanah equal 57, not only is 269 the 57th prime, but the date itself, if you, if you do date numerology in this method, 9 plus 26 plus 22 equals 57. So in this one day, guys, you have four different connections to the number 57. Four. In one day, you have the 269, which is 57th prime. You have the 269, 57th prime. You have the 57 date numerology. And you have this day being Rosh Hashanah. And Rosh Hashanah equals 57. So, and, and one last thing here, guys, is that we are currently in the Jewish year of five. We just started the Jewish year of five, seven, eight, three. Again, the five, seven. Okay. So there's five connections all with the 57 and this year's Rosh Hashanah on, on 926. Five, five, 57 connections. So they're telling you guys that the 57 is the number that they're trying to pound into our heads, right? Because we keep seeing it all in this very special day. And again, guys, we'll be in the 57 year until we until 2039 when we um, start our the Jewish year 5800, right? So, but anyways, I think that's why the 57 is so big because we're still in the 5783, right? And you have all these connections, the Jewish New Year. And I'm going to show you how all this is connected to the Queen, 
to connect to the Super Bowls, it's connected to the Society of Jesus, is all connected. So let's keep going. And, you know, the date, Rosh Hashanah this year falls in between Super Bowl 56, which happened last year on February 13th, or this year on February 13th, 2022, and next year's Super Bowl, which is Super Bowl 57. So there you go, guys. There's another 57 because we're in the year of Super Bowl 57 now. But not only that, guys, Super Bowl 56, what happened last year, it had date numerology of 57. So let's go back over here. Here's Super Bowl 56. If you look at the date, it had date numerology of 57. 2 plus 13 plus 20 plus 22 equals 57. So again, you had Rosh Hashanah, which had five connections to the 57. And then the first Super Bowl that happened prior to Rosh Hashanah had date numerology of 57. The next Super Bowl, which happens a year later on 2-12-2023, also has um, a date numerology of 57. And it's Super Bowl 57. Okay, And last year, the Super Bowl 56 had 43 total points scored. And this Super Bowl will have be on the 43rd day of 2023. And look at this, guys, the 322, the skull and bones, 322. All right, so again, you have the 57 in the coming Super Bowl. You have the 57 in the last Super Bowl. And I'm going to show you how the last Super Bowl was connected to the 57, not only with the date numerology, but also with the name of the Super Bowl and the team that won. Okay, also, I do want to mention that this day, Rosh Hashanah until the next Super Bowl is 140 days. And that's huge because Queen Elizabeth died 140 days after her birthday. And um, the Super Bowl is 140 days after the Jewish New Year. So again, it's it's all scripted together with the Queen and Rosh Hashanah and the Super Bowls. So, and remember guys, the Bengals, the Queen City, the Cincinnati Bengals was in the Super Bowl last year. So again, that's tied to the Queen as well. But let's go back over to my document. But again, guys, I told you that this coming Super Bowl was Super Bowl 57. But last Super Bowl, 56, if you type in Super Bowl 56 in the same cipher as Rosh Hashanah, you're going to get 57. And the Jewish New Year is known for blowing the ram's horn, the shofar. And the rams won, and the rams equal 57. So again, guys, it, you guys can see that there's no way you can overlook this information I'm sharing with you. They're obviously trying to tell us the 57 is really important. All right. And another thing I want to mention here is if we're going to correlate this to the Pope, because he's a huge figure and you always want to measure things from his day, uh, birthday, you're going to see that the Pope, the Super Bowl 57 for next year happens exactly 57 days after his birthday which is, again, 57 date numerology, and it's Super Bowl 57. So you, you, come on. You cannot tell me that this is not all perfectly placed in the 57s. You have the Pope, 57 days after his birthday, Super Bowl 57, and it has 57 date numerology. Okay, so it's, again, it's all scripted perfectly. And, you know, don't rule out the fact that also, guys, if you type in the Pope's First two names that he's known by, which is Jorge Mario. I'm going to do that for you guys right here. I want you to focus on, um, well, the reduction cipher. You're going to get 57. Okay, just in the same cipher as Rosh Hashanah. So again, guys, the Pope, the Super Bowl next year is 57 days after his birthday. His name equals 57. It's Super Bowl 57. Again, how much? How many more times do I have to say 57? But anyways, let's tie it to another um, important secret society, which that works for the Catholic Church and works for the Pope, right? Um, the Society of Jesus. And you notice that Society of Jesus equals 57 in Chaldean, which is the same cipher Queen Elizabeth equals 57. All right. And again, this year, guys, September 27th is the founding date of the Society of Jesus. And where did Rosh Hashanah fall on this year? Well, it fell on, as I showed you earlier, it fell on 
September 25th to September 27th. September 27th was the last day of Rosh Hashanah. And that's also the same day the Society of Jesus was founded. And I just told you how Rosh Hashanah is tied to the 57. And now you have the celebration of this secret society happening on that same day. And they equal 57. Not only that, guys, but if you take this to the septenary cipher, which is the other cipher I use, you're going to see where it all comes together. Remember, Super Bowl champion equals 57, and we're going to be entering into Super Bowl 57. All right, The Rams won last year. They equal 57. The founder of the Jesuits, the Society of Jesus, Ignatius of Loyola, equals 57. The Jesuits, which they're also known by, 57. And the Latin word, societis isu, equals 57. So all this stuff tied to the Society of Jesus, which equals 57. And then you have all these other connections to the 57. So let's keep moving. Let's talk about the Freemasons. You know, the, the, the Freemasons are known as master builders. And as you see here, guys, master builder equals 57. Okay. And a master builder would be somebody who performs perfection, and that equals 57. And one of the sects of Freemasonry, which is called the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, Scottish Rite equals 57. And in Chaldean, which is the same cipher that it's Society of Jesus equals 57, the Freemasons equals 57, and square and compass, which is the symbol for the Freemasons, equals 57. So again, how is this country founded by the Freemason? Remember, George Washington, guys, was a 33rd degree Freemasonry, the highest degree, right? And this country was founded essentially on... Freemasonry symbolism and obviously Roman Catholic symbolism. And so we know I just tied everything to the Catholic Church, the Pope, all these 57s this year. They're all tied together. And another thing I wanted to point out here, which I don't have a picture of, but the dollar bill has the phrase e pluribus unum, which means out of many, one. And if you type in the phrase e pluribus unum, it equals 57. In two ciphers, you know, if you take, I'll show you guys, e pluribus unum, if you copy, paste it over to this, I'm going to show you guys how it equals 57 in two ciphers. One, two. And notice also how the last thing I typed in, which was Jorge Mario, almost has a direct match, at least in two ciphers, 57s, 159s. And look, Jorge Mario, which is the Pope's name, equals 33 in Chaldean, which you know is the 33 degree Freemasonry. So again, it's all tied together. But the main number is the 57. Now, I told you that e pluribus unum was on the dollar bill, right? And the dollar bill is heavily tied to Freemasonry and all the symbolism on the dollar bill. Well, now I want to bring the next number into this. And that number is 114. And why is this number important? Well, because, guys, 57 times 2 is 114. So 57 is half of 114. And the 114 I want to talk about because this is how I came. I want to explain to you guys how I, I found this date I'm about ready to talk about. So let's go back to the Queen's death, which happened on... September 8th, this year, okay? And I want to point out a very interesting fact for you guys, all right? Well, first of all, I want to point out that from the Queen's death date to the Super Bowl next year, which is Super Bowl 57, it's 157 days. So again, another 57. And remember, I told you it's 57 days after the Pope's um, birthday, next Super Bowl. And so anyways, let's go from 9-8 to the day I'm going to talk about here, which is 1-1-4. And this day has 57 date numerology. This is how I, this is how I was able to find this connection, guys. So the queen died on September 8th. And remember, her name equals 57. Okay. And her son, the Prince of Wales, before he became king, he was known as Prince of Wales. 
and he became and his name his title prince of wales equals 57 okay and he was born on 1114 okay which is 10 days after the date 114 which is what i'm talking about but let me show you why this date's important so the queen dies on this day with 114 days left in the year so that's significant 114 days left her name equals 57 and 57 days later, okay, you have a date numerology of 57. Not only that, but you have the 57 days left in the year. So Queen Elizabeth dies 57 days later. You have a 57 date numerology and 57 days left in the year. And it's 1114, which 1114 divided by 2 is 57. Or 114, guys, 114 equals Divided, divided by 2 equals 57. So all these 57s said, okay, something has to be lining up with this day. Remember, we're in the year of Super Bowl 57. I just showed you all the other 57s about last Super Bowl. And now you have the queen dying on 114, which is, you know, 57 times 2. And then you have 57 days later, you have 57. Remember, 57 plus 57 is 114, and you have the date 114. And she dies on the day with 114. Do you see what I'm saying, guys? It's a big, it's it's a big clue, and you can't overlook it. And so this is why I was like, okay, well, what's so important about the 114 in in November 4th? Well, the really important thing to note about this day is that in history, well, the one thing I really want to point out about this day is that it's very important for presidents. Let me show you why. So I want you just to focus on this one cipher. President of the United States equals 114. All right. And so it's not a coincidence that a lot of times during the history of the country, you have the presidential election going on around this very time, 11-4. But what's interesting about this is that Obama was elected on 11-4. Okay, let me show you Obama election day. He was elected, officially elected. If we go in here, I'm going to show you what I mean about this 114 date and why it's important. So if you scroll down, it'll give you the day he actually <coughs> got elected. Um, sorry, guys, I didn't have this up before I made this video. But basically, the summary of this is that he was he was officially won the vote on November 4th. Now it says here Romney didn't actually concede, which was his, his opponent, didn't actually concede until November 7th, so three days later. But Obama did win. I don't want to take too much time to try to find this in this Wikipedia thing. But I just wanted to point out to you guys that Obama was elected on 114, okay? And that's when he officially won. Another thing about this <clears throat> about this day is that um, Trump two years ago did a late night speech talking about how he about how he was going to win, and it was on this same day, eleven four. So again, this date is important to the Trump and Obama narrative, which I've been talking about a lot from another YouTuber. Jurassic Liars, a big shout out to him. His information is amazing. If you guys don't know his information, please go type in Jurassic Liars and, and look for his YouTube channels and, and learn about the information that he's been presenting, which I think is very relevant. But the connection from Trump to Obama is very interesting. And the fact that they both had major – and president of the United States equals 114. And again, this is 114, and Obama was elected on this day in history. And again, guys, there's so much here to say, but this is why I'm looking at this day. But another thing about this day 
that I really wanted to talk about is how the US dollar is is very connected to the number 114. So, you know, maybe we could see some sort of um, interesting things happen on that day with the night the dollar. But you're gonna see this this is this is incredible, guys. So the United States dollar, if you type in the words United States dollar, it equals one one four. And if you just type in US dollar, one one four. So two different ways in which you can um, write this currency, it, it equals one one four. And it's known for having the no Roman numerals of seventeen seventy six, which is this um these Roman numerals here, and it equals one one four. So Everything about the dollar is scripted with the 114, and I'm going to show you why on Rosh Hashanah. Remember, guys, I told you about how important the 114 and 57 are and how, how important Rosh Hashanah was to the 57. Well, on Rosh Hashanah, the dollar hit a high of 114. So my question is, is that going to be the high, and are we going to crash from here? You know, it's been on a, a very – it's been on an upswing for a while now. So, you know, and I also wanted to point out that the great seal equals 57, which is also another thing on the dollar, again, tied to the 57 and the 114. Now, I told you guys that Obama was elected in 2008 on November 4th, and that was the 56th presidential election. Remember, we just had Super Bowl 56, and now we're going to have Super Bowl 57, but Obama won the 56th presidential election. And he won the 57th presidential election. He was reelected four days later on the 57th presidential election. And Barack Hussein Obama equals 57. So again, guys, Obama tied to the 57, tied to the, the day he was elected in 2008. Okay. And... These 57s just keep coming up. So now it, it leads me into the most important part of this, this detail is what is up with Trump in this day? And I'm going to show you exactly why it's important to Trump. So again, I told you that two years ago on 11-4, Trump was – you can look it up on YouTube. He came out for the speech. It was like a he, – he even in the beginning of the speech, he says this is the latest press conference I've ever had. And basically he was stating how – it looked like they were going to win the election. Well, we all know how that turned out. He didn't win. He said the election was stolen from him, and then we ended up having the January 6th thing. So what I think could happen this year is another event that escalates this whole you know, election thing with Trump. And I don't know exactly what's going to happen on 11-4, on but I'm not just looking at 11-4. I'm looking at also that whole time period um, from November 1st to November 11th. I mean, there's so much that could happen. Remember, guys, we have a total lunar eclipse on November 8th, 7th and 8th. So it, it's right around a lunar eclipse. It's right around a midterm elections, and it's tied to Donald Trump. I'm going to show you why. So the first thing I want to note is that 11-3 is the reverse of the very day that Trump announced the pandemic, which was on 3-11, okay? And, you know, the, the fact that 11.3 is also right before 11.4. So that's interesting. And also 11.3 begins the 138 weeks after Trump was declared, declared the pandemic. And if you, if you go and you type in Donald Trump, it equals 138. And I just told you, remember guys, it equals 138. And it, it, you know, he, this, this week right here of November 3rd and 4th is 138 weeks after the pandemic. Okay. And the other thing with the monkeypox thing is monkeypox equals 138. And we just had that earlier this year on the 138th day of the year. So we could be seeing some, something interesting on that day. But anyways, as I've already said, the 11, four and the 57 after the queen died, you know, that's important. So. But what I also want to mention about the day of 11-4 is that it's the 308th day of the year. Well, we all know in Gematria that murder equals 38. If you drop the zero of this day, you're going to get the 38. But what's really interesting about that day, guys, is 
Obama, remember I told you, was elected on that day. But this year, November 4th, is the 44th Friday. Um, as you can see here. Um, so yeah, it's 308 day until the one anniversary of her death, which is 44 weeks. So 11-4 will be 44 weeks before the one year anniversary of the queen's death. Okay. Not only that, that 44, okay, but 11-4 is the 44th Friday of 2022 and the 44th day of fall. So you have three 44s converging on that date. And remember, guys, in Gematria, kill equals 44. Let me just show you. Kill equals 44. And Obama was the 44th. And I just tied him to the 57 and the 114. So it's the 44th day of fall. It's the 44th Friday of 2022, and it's 44 weeks before the Queen's one-year anniversary of her death. So, um, again, Trump, not only is this day the 44th Friday, but it's one day before the 40, it's the 45th week, right? And Trump was the 45th president, and president of the United States that I already showed you equals 114. And... It would be it wouldn't be right to talk about a president having un um, having some not so good things happen if I didn't mention JFK and you type in the assassination of John F Kennedy also equals one one four remember president of the United States equals one one four all right and I just wanted to mention that if you type in Trump assassinated Trump assassinated equals fifty seven and 114, the two numbers I've been talking about this whole decode. I'll just show you guys so you guys can see with your own eyes how interesting this is. There you go, 57, 114. And remember, I just showed you John F. Kennedy assassinated equals 114. And what's interesting about this day is you guys remember the Mar-a-Lago raid that happened on August 8th, which is 8-8? Well, that day, 11-4, if you go back, remember guys, the, the Mar-a-Lago raid happened exactly a month before the queen died on 8-8. And if you go to that day and you measure to the date I'm talking about, it's 88 days. I mean, just look how it's all lining up, guys. So you're telling me that the Mar-a-Lago raid happened on 8-8, one month before Queen Elizabeth, let me type, let me show you how Elizabeth is tied to 88. Elizabeth equals 88. Trump equals 88. And so you're telling me that 88 days after the Trump raid is this day, the day that I already told you was correlated with the Queen, and now it's correlated with Trump. Remember, the Queen just died. So what's what's going on with this? You know what I mean? And another thing I like to mention to go with uh, Jurassic Liar's work is that Elvis died on the 200. Remember, Jurassic Liar's work is all about Elvis and Trump connection. Well, Elvis died on the 228th day of the year. And if you go from this Mar-a-Lago raid, it, you can also be 228, which is the day um, Elvis died. And that's 89 days and the queen died on 89, if you write it that way. So another interesting connection. But the big one here is that it's 88 days after 88 and Trump equals 88. Okay. So what's going to happen 88 days after the 88 raid? Maybe nothing, but it's just very interesting. Now, we also had um, Trump's ex-wife die early this year and she died exactly a month. So here's the thing, guys. So Trump's born on 614 and his wife, his ex-wife died 14 on 714, which is exactly a month after his birthday. Well, the queen just died exactly a month after Trump's raid. So do you see what I mean? There's these things are happening exactly a month apart. But what's interesting is if you go from the day that she died, 714, and you go to the day I'm talking about, 11-4, it's 1-1-4. So you're telling me that it's 1-1-4 days after 
Uh, it's 114 days after his, his ex-wife dies, and the date is 114. Doesn't look very, looks very suspicious to me. Not only that, guys, but it has the 322, the skull and bones. So, again, I'm very interested in, in what's going on here. Because, I mean, what's the chances that it's 114 days and the date is 114? And she died on 14, remember? And Trump was born exactly a month earlier, which brings me to the next point, is that it's exactly 144 days after Trump's birthday. But if you measure to his next birthday, it's exactly 223 days before his next birthday. Remember, I just said it's 300 and, it's three months and 22 days after his ex-wife died, and it's 223 days before his tw two, 2023 birthday. And remember, 2023 is like 223. So again, we have these connections here with Trump. And what's also very interesting about this day with the 223 is if you go from the Pope's birthday and you go from his last birthday, it's 322 days after. So November 4th is 322 days after the Pope's last birthday. Remember, I just told you it was three months and 22 days after Trump's wife died, and it's 223 days before his next birthday, and it's 322 days after the Pope's birthday. So you have all these numbers converging, all the 322s converging on this day. And I typed it all up in here, guys. Another connection is that 11-4 um, is 264 days after the Super Bowl last year. And 264 is another huge number with the queen. Queen Elizabeth II equals 264. All right. Another uh, funny thing here is if you type in the word Elizabeth Trump, it equals 57. And what's interesting about that is if you look up Trump's grandmother. Let me find it here, guys, for you. Trump's grandmother was Elizabeth My computer is being slow, so bear with me. Christ. I mean, just look at this mockery, guys. Like, Trump's freaking grandmother's name was Elizabeth Christ Trump. So if you just type her first and last name in, Elizabeth Trump, it equals 57. I mean, look at this. <clears throat> Remember, I just told you that Trump equals 88. And Elizabeth equals 88. Well, if you combine the two, which is the name of Trump's grandmother, you get 57. And I just showed you how Queen Elizabeth II, I'll type it in again. Equals 57. So again, you got the name of Trump's grandmother, 57. Elizabeth II, Queen Elizabeth II, 57. And, I mean, like, what's the chances her name is Elizabeth Christ Trump? Like, it just seems really interesting to me, and it, it doesn't seem like a coincidence. Now, she was born on October 8th, his grandmother was, which is coming up. And, you know, that's... That's another interesting connection, but I think she died on June 6th. So, yeah, she died eight days before Trump's birthday. And remember, Trump equals 88 and Elizabeth equals 88. She dies eight days in 1966, and she dies on June 6th. So she dies on 6666. <laughs> you know, like, let's measure. Let's see what we get from that day. Look at that, guys. Oh, my gosh. So if, if you measure from the anniversary of his grand, uh, Trump's grandmother's death, and look at the day she died, guys, the 157. Again, another 57. Remember, her Elizabeth Trump equals 57. This is the 157. But anyways, her middle name is Christ. Okay, and she died 100. And f so 11-4, the date I'm talking about, after her 6-6 six, six on her death, her anniversary of her death to this day is 151 days. And 
in gematria, guys, Jesus Christ equals 151. The Great Reset equals 151. So, again, I think that she's definitely tied in with this, and I haven't had a lot of chance to look into her. But, I mean, again, she's Trump's grandmother, and her name is Elizabeth Christ Trump. <laughs> and it all goes back to the Germans and the Illuminati, the Bavarian Illuminati. Look where she's from, Karlstadt, Germany, Bavaria. You know, that's where she was born. So, anyways, uh, let's move on to, to the next connections. Another thing I want to mention here is that if something does happen on the, um, November 4th, is that the phrase psychological operation, okay, which is what they call these psyops, right? Everything on the world stage is some sort of psyop. Well, if you type in psychological operation, it equals 114 in the same cipher as assassination of John F. Kennedy. Remember, that that equal 114. President of the United States equals 114 in that same cipher. Okay, psychological operation. You know, and it, it just it just doesn't seem like it's all it's all it's all coming together so perfectly. And you're also going to notice a lot of 159s. Donald Trump equals 159. E pluribus unum equals 159. Jorge Mario equals 159. You know, it, there's there's a lot of 159s coming in here. You know, also guys with the 57s, Elon Reeve Musk equals 57. And I got to go back and look, but I know Elon posted, if I die under mysterious circumstances, I got to go back and look at when that was, and I got to measure from it. Another thing I want to mention about Donald Trump is that his he got a nickname, Donald Trump, Trump, and I don't know exactly how that happened, but I know that that's a lot of times you'll see him being made fun of with that name. Look at that name, guys. It equals 138, just like Donald Trump. But it also has that 57 in two ciphers, 57 and 57, okay? The same as the pluribus unum is 57 and 57. And remember, guys, I told you that 11-4 um, is only a few days before the, um, the lunar eclipse, which is all about the moon, and moon equals 57, okay? And Donald Trump is a Gemini. Gemini equals 57. And it's it's just crazy to me that all these 57s are correlating with this date. Also, guys, if you type the word Donald, assass Donald Trump assassinated equals 269, which was the date Rosh Hashanah, 269. 269 is the 57th prime. Not only does Donald Trump assassinated equal 269, but if you just type in Trump assassinated, it equals 269. All right. Also, 11-4 is 38 days after Rosh Hashanah. We know that the word murder equals 38. Okay. And remember, that day is the 308th day of the year. All right. And now let's talk about the really interesting connection with Shinzo Abe. Remember, we had another former politician already get assassinated earlier this year. Guess what the date numerology of that day was, guys? You guessed it, 57. Actually, there's another 57 here. But the main one I want to focus on is this 57. And just look, guys, it's 119 days apart. So from Shinzo Abe's assassination to the day I'm thinking Trump might be attempted on is 119 days. What's the chances? They both have 57 date numerology. Okay. So, again, what else happened on on the five sevens this year? Well, we had the weird thing that happened on July 5th, which can also be written 57 internationally. Okay. And that was when CERN turned on the Hydron Collider. It was a big day. That everyone was talking about something was going to happen. We did have some weird weather that day. But anyways, guys, on 5-7, you had the Hadron Collider turned on, the fastest it ever had been. And look at that. It's three months and three, 30 days, 33, until November 4th, which is also 1-2-3 if, um, if you do the um, the days, with, add the date at the end. It's 1-2-3, like a, you know, 
get ready, one, two, three. So who knows? I don't know, but it's interesting. What's something else that happened this year, guys? <clears throat> on 5-7, well, on 5-7, um, we had the the horse Rich Strike win the Kentucky Derby. And obviously the date is written 5-7. And if you type in the horse that won, Rich Strike, it equals 57. Again, guys, in the same cipher as all these other 57s. What else happened this year um, with the 57? Well, we had um, Kanye West released um, a song on, I think it was January 10th. And it, it called Heaven and Hell. And it was a very ominous video he released. And look at what it equals, guys. It equals 57. United Nations also equals 57. And if you type out the number 44, which Obama was the 44th, I already told you that November 4th is the 44th Friday. Okay. Trump was born on a Friday. Let me show you that, guys. So Trump was born on 614, 1946. Okay. And he was born on a Friday. Just like November 4th is a Friday. Okay. And remember, I told you guys that 44 and you type it out equals 57. And again, I already talked to you all about the other 57s. But but it's just so many 57s, guys. So many 57s. I just showed you a horse race this year that was tied to the 57. Kanye West song equals 57. Super Bowl was tied to 57. The next Super Bowl is tied to 57. Um, the Queen is tied to the 57. The Pope, the Jesuits, they're all tied to this number. And I just can't I just can't tell you guys enough how this is all obviously leading us to some sort of riddle. And I'm not saying I have it completely figured out, but I'm just saying that there's there's a lot to be found here. I also want to mention that on Rosh Hashanah, and I made this post um I made this post in my community section, but on the day of Rosh Hashanah, which was all tied to the 57, we had a quarterback playing for the Dallas Cowboys. His name was Cooper Rush. And look what his name equals, guys. 138, just like Donald Trump equals 138, and 57, just like Rosh Hashanah equals 57. And remember, this game was important because he was playing, and he he's not the normal starting quarterback, okay? But just look at um, his connection to Donald Trump. Donald Trump equals 138, 138, and 48 in Chaldean. And look, this is one. This is 48 as well. Okay. And he has the 57 to go with the day he was playing on Rosh Hashanah. Fifty-seven. And remember, Rich Strike, the horse, he won the race this year. I believe Kentucky Derby equals 57, if I'm not mistaken. It equals 56, guys. I, I thought it equaled 57, but either way, um, the, horse, the horse Rich Strike, who equals 57, won the horse, Kentucky Derby on 5-7. Okay. And then you had Shinzo Abe assassinated on date numerology of 57. And then you had Cooper Rush. Again, remember, the Super Bowl MVP. I, I'm sorry, guys. I typed his name backwards. His name is Cooper Rush. I typed it Rush Cooper, but his name is Cooper Rush. And remember, guys, we had the Super Bowl 56 MVP, Cooper Cup. So another Cooper connection. And this all ties back to Cooper being connected to Jupiter. So just 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 keep these numbers in your head and look how Cooper is tied to Jupiter. Notice the 36 and the 90, just like Cooper is Jupiter. So again, all these things are tied. And you know, just go just take a look, pause the video and just see how everything that I'm talking about disregard some of this stuff here in the middle that I typed in. But for the most part you're getting all kinds of 57s. And then don't overlook the importance of the 114. 
So I know this has been a long video, guys. Thanks for bearing with me. I've got actually a lot more to add to this, but I think this is a good point to leave off on. And I just wanted to get this information out on a video. I, again, I don't like to make predictions necessarily, but I just want to point to this time period next month on November 4th. I don't know if it's going to be that day. I don't know what day something's going to happen, what's going to happen with the elections. I don't know what kind of drama they're going to they're going to put out there. But all I want you guys to know is that it seems like everything's correlated this year with the 57. So keep an eye on the 57s, okay? Another thing I want to mention right before I go, guys, is Cooper Rush on Rosh Hashanah. He played, and he threw – he started the game for 57 yards passing on five of seven completions. So it was just, it was just hilarious. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. video. I, I really – I know I made this long and I talked a lot, but just wanted to get the point across. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one.